a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress. Yes, APC, former General Secretary of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Nopeng Chief Frank Kokori, has shared his views after the federal government of Nigeria reportedly ordered the removal of all eye on the judiciary be bus nationwide. The all eye on the judiciary have been set up in various locations as Nigerians anticipate the verdict of the presidential election petition tribunal in Abuja. The verdict is eagerly awaited as both Peter B and Atiku challenge the victory of Tinumbu at the presidential election petition tribunal sitting in Abuja. According to a report by the Sun newspaper, Chief Clark or Chief Frank Kokori in an exclusive interview said, how can people just pull, put B-Boss all over the places warning the judiciary to be careful, all eyes on the judiciary? Has that ever happened since 1959 when we started having elections in this country? How can you just carry B-Boss and blackmail the judiciary? Who is blackmailing anybody? Well, there are many um, these things to this whole thing. Some people see it as oh, as trying to intimidate judiciary, as trying to do this. I don't mean I don't see it that way because, like they always say, fear, clear conscience, fears no accusation. So why should you uh, be 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 bitter about that? Since it has not been done in 1959, so things must not change the way and manner which people view things. And meanwhile, you continue to do the same thing. You guys don't see anything wrong with all these politicians, with all the sufferings that Nigerians are talking about. It's none of your business. And you see these people as old people. They still want the old other things. And they'll be telling you Nigeria needs a change. Nigeria needs that. But with the hardship, with all the policies that uh, Nigerians are experiencing, they will never say anything concerning that. But whatever the opposition says, see, this uh, opposition we are talking about, it is Nigerians that are even suffering, that are even speaking. I remember Peter B saying that uh, himself and uh, Dati Ahmed did not contest that Nigerian Nigerians contested through them. So Nigerians are the ones speaking. Is it uh, Daddy Dati uh, Dati Ahmed? Is it Dati? Yeah. Is it Dati? Or is it Obi? You think uh, they are going through the suffering that we Nigerians are going through? No. Tell me. Who are the people going through the sufferings that we are going through today? The the for the the supporters of a uh, article. The supporters of uh, Tinumbu, the supporters of Obi, all Nigerians that do not have a, any form of relationship with with uh, any politicians or they don't have any link with politicians, they are the ones suffering this whole thing. And they are the ones talking, they are the ones speaking. All of those politicians from Atiku, Kwakwanso, Obi, and the rest of them, Tinumbu, they are not feeling this. It's because they already have their money. They already have their money. So, whatever that is happening, it is the masses who are feeling or bearing the brunt. They are the ones who are speaking. But once they speak, they begin to tell you, oh, you are not supposed to say this. And this man is telling us that uh, eh, it has not happened. Who is blackmailing anybody? For, for the fact that you are removed it, so does it mean people have not been saying it? No, does it mean people have not been saying it or people are not hearing it about it? And for the fact that before you remove it, a lot of people had seen it and already people are already aware of it. Yes. If further remarks, is it fair to blackmail judges simply because the judges will not answer you? Why resort to blackmailing the judiciary? Chief Kokori also emphasized that the Bimoda voter accreditation system did not make any mistake during the general elections. She won't continue by you, so. Did not make any mistake. When I hear what the guy, the young. Hmm? Now the year waiting the year so. Okay, <laughs> for the position Kokori had been in this country, I think he shouldn't have even been so corrupt to this extent. But greediness and lack of truth is what kept him like this. All eyes on the judiciary is not only for obedient people. Even you, the corrupt people of APC, are waiting for the judiciary. So what is wrong with the people? And I said it one time that. Even the APC are supposed to be judiciary. You have to favor also. You know, everybody wants, you know, whichever divide they belong to, they want to be favored. So it is for everybody. Huh? Can you imagine? Uh, somebody saying, is it the first time that we are going to have tribunal cases in Nigeria? And what is wrong with that? 
So that is why you people should not be complaining about the suffering because the suffering that say we are going through in this country, it is it did not just start today. So why should people complain? Nobody should complain about the suffering because the suffering has been there for a very long time. So what is the big deal? Mm. Well, it's a crook from birth since 1958, as mentioned by Kokori. Has anything changed in Nigeria than lesser corruption gave birth to a bigger one? Do they have the internet at that time? What have they done? They, they have been rigging and rigging out. Let's keep, let's him keep quiet. His students should warn, warn him not to draw the wrath of the younger generation. Why is it that it's only APC members that have problems with the people? They are the ones. I never expected that Kukori can descend so low to join members of her group. What is wrong with this so-called many of our leaders in Nigeria? It is love of money, fame and power. Does it even look like person who can get a, a fame? Does it look like somebody who has money? Does it look like somebody who has been who have been lecturing the or you know with his uh, knowledge of experience or the wealth of experience? Has he been teaching the youth on what to do? But they want to go and keep behind all these uh, corrupt politicians, and they will come and be telling you story that do not even ring be well in the years of many Nigerians. I'm sure his, his children are doing better. I'm sure it's proud of Nigeria today. 